Hello friends, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Joseph Benson. And if today's your first time here, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell notification icon. So if I have a new video on this channel, you will be notified. In today's video, I will be giving you a quick walk around on my tail boom, homemade tail boom for my ultralight helicopter Benson B1 running on four cylinder straight reciprocating engine. Well, if today's your first time, don't forget to subscribe as I mentioned earlier. And please like this video because if you like this video you are automatically telling youtube algorithm that this video is important and youtube algorithm will show this video to as many people in search of how to construct home build helicopter from the comfort of their home or their spare space this is my tail boom of my ultralight helicopter and i'm going to show you today how i was able to do it and you can see it right now it's kind of simple construction i did and it was beautiful okay you can see it very flexible now this is the shaft that carry power from the engine to um this shaft got power from the engine and the same power it's being connected from the engine to the gerbil which is transmission system that take power to the main rotor blade and the same power is being connected is being tapped from the engine and given to this very particular shaft over here that gives to the tail blade over here because we're having a tail gear box somewhere around this port and if we are having a tail gear box from here and definitely there should be a shaft that's giving this tail gear tail gear box the power to rotate the main the tail uh, kind of rotor okay so this is how i constructed and something like this like four inches pipe or so and that was my tail boom and many people prefer using aluminium for this but i decided to use metal and I was able to kind of work on it and spray a uh, kind of corrosive uh, material that uh, a kind of painting or that can prevent corrosion. Okay, so I've done that already, and that is why this particular uh, tail boom is not rusting for now. And I will do that because for now everything is still under construction, and I'll make sure I do all of this time to time and maintain it until the construction is fully over. So you can see how beautiful it is. And this is the shaft that peak power from the engine okay a big part from the engine to the tail gear box that is it so you can see how i was able to construct to keep um to keep track of uh this shaft so that it, I, it cannot be wumble or having any kind of fault i use this uh block uh, uh uh bearing i use the block bearing to the size of this particular shaft and i was be able to install it all uh from the beginning to the end of it i'm having four block Bearing. So if I shift back a little bit, you can see how I think it's about 1.8 to 2 meter long tail boom. So this is how I was be able to do it step by step. And sorry, when I constructed this uh, tail boom, I was not on YouTube. And that is why it's, it looks as if um, there's no construction video for this. And it's just being shown like this. But uh, anytime soon, any construction that I would do on this ultralight helicopter right there, called the Benson B1 running on Honda Civic engine, I will for sure let you guys know and definitely you will be a particular of it and you see what I'm doing step by step and I will show you everything in details, all you need to know about it and possibly you can also um, take advantage of it and start constructing this in the comfort of your home. So if I shift this way and uh, you can see how beautifully uh, this tail boom is and uh, it is very, very beautiful and it will, be, it will be carrying power from the main engine right there and it will give that particular that shaft will carry power from the engine and give to the tail gearbox at the other ends over there and that is it guys it's so unique and i hope you really um understand how this one is but i decided to show you guys this so at least it will look um uh everything step by step how i do it and that is it so this is how the end this is the end of it this is where the gearbox will be and that is the other end where we are going to connect this to the uh we're going to connect this one right now to um the jar box and that particular place sorry this will be connected to the power from the engine all right and the other end there will be connected to the tail jar box so uh, any excess of shafts we're going to cut it off we're going to reduce the shaft and connect the whole thing and the whole thing will go normal and at the other end here we're using a coupling I have to install a coupling over here so I can be able to tie it with the power that's coming from the gear box directly. So this is how this tail boom look like for now. And you can see I'm having a small engineer here called Benson. Anyway, I named the helicopter after his name and 
It's called the Benson B1 actually, and it's one of the unique helicopter for now. And I'm still working on it, and it's beautiful. So you can see, um, he I never work alone. He work with me all the time, and he always say that this is my daddy's helicopter, and that is it. So I will still uh, create more more video for you guys, and you see everything. And again, don't forget, I'm an architect, a forex trader, and also a large helicopter enthusiast, and that is me. So, thank you so much for your time. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Like these videos because if you like this video, automatically you are telling YouTube and upgrading that this video is very important. And YouTube is going to place this video to as many people in search of this home built auto light helicopter. And this could be of help to them. Thank you so much. I hope you really see uh, how I was able to construct my own tail boom. And I hope you can still go home and go back to drawing board and see how you can possibly start creating your own tail boom and that is it thank you so much for your time i do hope i'll see you next video bye bye